Hey, TV. It's another beautiful Wednesday here in sunny South Florida, except it's not so sunny. We'll, do, we'll just keep the beautiful part because it's still beautiful. Mon uh, Wednesday, May 20th, episode six of Team JK TV. It's been a long week. We're excited to be here. Can't wait to, to talk to everybody. Um, we're joined today by, of course, Jonathan Keith, um, Erica Leba, who we've all we've talked to before, and a new member of our team, Mark Blocker. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Glad to be here. So we're um, going to be talking about three properties today we're going to feature and bring to you um, before we talk about anything else related to real estate. We're going to show you uh, 2681 East Oakland Park Boulevard, which is a commercial property, 10689 Richfield Way in Boynton Beach, which is a residential single family home. Erica will be telling you about that. And then 305 Isle of Capri, which uh, uh, Mark will be highlighting for us. And so before we get into anything about the real estate market, um, first of all, just a quick thank you to everybody who's joining us today. So please don't forget to comment. Um, we'll um, make sure we address those. Let's get right to the properties and uh, start with 2681 East Oakland Park Boulevard. Jonathan, if you can take it away, that'd be great, please. All right. Hey guys, thanks for joining Team JKTV and 2681 East Oakland Park Boulevard happens to be one of our favorite commercial buildings we've been actively occupying with tenants. This is a four-story building built in 1983. It's about 20, 28,529 square feet. It's a class B. Uh, we've got it about 80% occupied at this point. And you know the key factor is that we've done a lot of different renovations. We were working on the plumbing in the back. Uh, at this point, the main line's coming in and we worked on the coolers and a lot of the different mechanics of the building. Behind there, you can see through those windows there, that's the secondary sister building to this property. And uh, we've got this property listed at 4.7 million, right? But good news is, is that we have a $500,000 price reduction. So this building right here next to Brown Dog Eatery, just east of Target on Oakland Park Boulevard, has the highest traffic count you could possibly get in the entire county. And I can tell you this, at 4.25, it's gonna fly. We've, we're working on an offer as it stands, but you know we're still wondering if that's gonna play out based upon some of the financing constraints that have come in. So 2681 East Oakland Park Boulevard, call me with any questions, and I'm actively listing more office space as we continue down the road. Back to you, Derek. Thanks, Jonathan. A couple of quick questions before we uh, move on to the Boynton Beach property. Uh, is there any uh, space available in this property for lease? We still have about 4,000 square foot available. So any of you out looking for an office space, whether you've got to step up or step down from where you're at, or you just want to get out of the house and actually have a space, we're actually seeing a lot of that kind of activity where people just can't like work out of their house anymore. It's driving them crazy and they want to be around others. Feel free to reach out to me direct, 954-709-9742. And I will help you in any way possible. Beautiful. Thank you. Erica, tell us about this property in Boynton Beach, please. I am so excited to tell you guys a little bit about the property. It's 1068 Nine Richfield Way in Boynton Beach. This impeccable, beautiful single family home is located in Valencia Point, which is a gated country club adult only community without any annual memberships. Uh, the property offers four bedrooms, two and a half bath, two car garage, and it's 2,381 square feet under air, 2,960 square feet total. The home has 10 foot ceilings, neutral colors throughout, tons of natural light. As you can see, it has a nice spacious floor plan. Uh, the kitchen has 42 inch tall wood cabinets, granite countertops, upgraded stainless steel appliances, a breakfast bar and a dining nook overlooking the family room. Uh, the home is very, very well kept. Uh, the master bedroom has a beautiful tray ceiling, large uh, walk-in closet for him, him and her, and the master bathroom has a his and hers vanity, Roman tub and a separate stand-up shower. And uh, the screening patio, it has a beautiful garden view where you can enjoy a cup of coffee or a glass of wine. Uh, and this property also offers a beautiful 
35,000 square foot co uh, country club and a lifestyle center that's undergoing a concrete remodeling right now. Gorgeous. Yes, and this home can be yours for $474,000. Yeah, that's okay. believable. I mean, in, in Fort Lauderdale, that home is literally double. Yes, for sure, yes. I mean, there's tons of features for this clubhouse uh, that I don't have time to go over with here, but I, you know, anyone that wants to know a little bit more about it, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 561-289-8400. And I'm also available with smoke signals for those who don't have a phone. <laughs> hey, Erica, is the uh, house vacant right now so people can see it? Yes, it's vacant. Okay, and then um, you you said you mentioned that it's an adults adult only community, so that's uh, fifty five plus, correct? Fifty five and older community, and the clubhouse has tons of features. Has a cafe, has social events, tennis court, basketball, putting green. It also has like a little uh, area for like a playground area for grandkids to come over and visit, and it has a huge resource uh, style pool. I'm only eight years away from being able to get in there. <laughs> hey, you know what? This is a great investment for you. You want to buy it? Hey, I'll share a little with you. <laughs> yeah. uh, it sounds like Jonathan's going to be moving very soon, Erica. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So um, last but not least, we have 305 Isle of Capri. Mark Blocker, can you please tell us about this townhome? Yeah, this is all location, location, location. Uh, you can walk to the restaurants, the shops on Los Olas, the beach. Uh, it's got a saltwater pool. It's got uh, a block from the uh, river. You're 10 minutes from the ocean. Impact glass everywhere, gas fireplace. Uh, balconies on the second floor off the master, a bar in the living room, uh, gas fireplace. A separate bedroom on the first floor, so the separate entrance. Uh, a new... Uh, Italian convection oven, kitchen's been redone, garage is clean, uh, four bedroom, four and a half baths, five bedrooms. One of the bedrooms now is an office, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, but you can see it's kind of move in condition. There's not a lot you need to do unless you really want to put your own. 27, 65 square feet, one car garage, parking up to four cars. Thanks, Mark. Uh, One million one eighty. One million one eighty. Price to go. Excellent. Is it vacant? It is vacant right now. Okay, so people can see it. How did how did they get in touch with you to see it? Uh, just call me at nine four nine five five four nine nine three six, or they can email me or text me. Or some people say smoke signals. <laughs> That's Eric, because I don't know whether you can use that or not. A um, right. couple of quick questions. Is it uh, fee simple? It's fee simple. So that's the other good news. There's no HOA fees. Okay. Excellent. Beautiful property. Thanks, guys. Those are all beautiful properties. So you know how to get in touch with everybody. Our contact information is on the screen right now, just in case. So um, give us, any of us a call, email us. And, you know, we're, we're on the team here to help you. And uh, if you want to know uh, about any neighborhood where where you live or what the house your home value is, please by all means get in touch with us. So we're here for you. That's what makes Team JK. So now we get to talk. This has really, really, really been a, a an interesting week because there's lots going on, and um, we have four different opinions here, and we get to kind of talk about not only opinions but uh, the the facts. So the, a couple of interesting things. I took a look at. Uh, matrix and the uh, median sales price I thought this was interesting is just about the same as it was last summer so in terms of pricing and uh, sales price sales prices we haven't um, really gone down as much as maybe some people were maybe expecting with all of this that's going on with COVID so um, I just kind of wanted to hear everyone's thoughts about um, the reopening because Fort Lauderdale is starting to reopen up, reopen Broward County, Miami. Um, we've had a lot of COVID cases here in those areas, but we're starting to reopen. I'd like to know what, what you all are seeing. Um, let's start with JK first and give us a feel for what you're seeing right now in the market actually right now. Well, you know, the key to it is that, you know, I mean, we still need to be overly cautious 
Um, and I know that that's kind of a standard, you know, I'm doing a lot of, you know, I showed property this morning and, you know, I was in gloves and mask and noticed that, you know, some of the others that were involved in the transaction didn't really have um, safety first at mind. I'm not doing, in, in my opinion, I'm not really looking at safety as for myself. I think that I'm pretty, you know, pretty set up to handle any kind of virus, but who knows, right? But ultimately it's more respect for others. Um, and so I would just, you know, mention that you might want to really consider just doing, you know, wearing gloves and masks, especially onto the agents that are watching our show. Um, I'd be very conscious about how you're entering. Um, and, you know, somebody had asked about open houses. I do not see open houses happening anytime soon. Um, and this is a fluid situation. And the I don't know scenario, the specific I don't know, is going to be very clear um, every week uh, until we start to see things toned down with um, – with, with coming down the line because um, we're obviously at a certain point of opening and then people are starting to wonder whether that opening is going to make an impact. I don't see beaches opening up for uh, Memorial Day. Um, and by the way, happy Memorial Day to, to you guys. We'll take this opportunity and, and mention that. I, um, I just think that everybody needs to keep their space. Um, it's clear we're, we're looking at other counties and different openings and that's an issue. Um, that they're not really following, uh, you know, everybody's health. But I guess maybe, you know, Broward's a little tighter. We're 2 million people here in this community. And, um, and I think that especially on the east side, people seem to be pretty conscious. You know, I think if anything, I see a lot of the younger, the younger kids are, are, you know, in their early 20s just seem like it's not really that big of a deal whether they're, yeah. they're protecting themselves. That's what I'm seeing that a lot as well. I, I, I personally live in a high rise right now and I know that we're, we're, we're revisiting where we live because, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, it's you it's just and not, everybody not, else. Yeah. Yeah. That goes to the shift. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to chat about that, Derek? Y yeah, I do. So, uh, you know, what people may not know that, that are watching, um, if you're not, if you're not working within compass, um, but, but this is a very tech forward company. I mean, I think all of us feel um, really privileged to have the opportunity to, to be with Compass because we're so tech forward. But one of the things that we talked about in an all um, team meeting with the entire, uh, the entire workforce with Compass across the country was how people everywhere in the United States um, and other countries too, but are looking at the inadequacies of their current housing situation, whatever it may be. And so the, we think that there's going to be a lot of activity in, re, in real estate simply because people are not happy with where they are. Um, Erica, Mark, what do you guys think about that? Do you think, do you, do you think we're going to see a shift or? Uh, I think there is going to be a shift. And I think, you know, people are living in their homes or really looking into uh, what is missing in their home. And I, I saw something, I think it was from the Florida Association of Realtors today about people looking at putting in swimming pools at, at record levels, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. And then I do a Zoom call with some friends in Chicago almost daily. And it's weird. Uh, people are, are not back to normal. They don't expect it to be back to normal in Chicago till they're looking at July, maybe August. So. It's far out. I was in Southern California last week and I know the Orange County area fairly well and I was amazed how many classic restaurants may never come back. So yeah, yeah. economic impact is something else. But I do believe the people in Chicago and Boston and Philly and New York are gonna be coming south. Uh, and I think they're gonna trade in maybe some of the European travel for sunny Florida. Yeah. I agree with Mark on that. Uh, I'm seeing more and more out-of-state buyers contacting me personally to come down here to look at some properties. I'm working actively now with four, two from New York, one from California, and then the fourth one, I don't remember. Uh, but they're, they're looking to come down here and they're not coming with a big budget. They are around $200,000, $250,000 to try to find a single family home, which we all know it's 
can be a little bit challenging um, in some areas. They're looking to be a little further east, for, you know, towards the beach. And the reason for them moving, when I was asking them, it's that they want to be able to be outside if something like this continues. You know, they don't have the type of luxury with weather up north that we have down here. We, you know, our quarantine compared to other states is not actually that bad. We can be outside any day, you know, depending, doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, we have that, uh, you know, that freedom. And New York don't have that for an example. Yeah, that's an interesting take. I, I, I think it's good, there might be a bit of a, a vacuum in the, in the Northeast and um, some of the other states where, you know, summertime or where, where you can be outside is reduced down to three months or so. Um, yeah. And we, yeah. And we don't have that, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, I have um, some, some additional info there, Derek, if you want me to add. Yeah, yeah, please do. I, yeah, and, and, and on Mark's point, you know, about the poll, I think that, you know, it's not, you know, the polls definitely, we're hearing the same scenarios on my end. Um, you know, I'm in touch with a substantial amount of landlords here in the county, and they're getting the activity from up north and in different parts of our, um, of the, of the southern side of our states, Georgia Oh, I had a call come in. Oops, okay. sorry. So, uh, but yeah, we're, we're seeing the landlords are talking about how their rents are going, they're gonna be going up. Rents will be going up for sure because you're gonna have a lot more renters. You're gonna have some people that are gonna be displaced. They are gonna either A, foreclose, short sale, or just you know walk from their homes and they're gonna need to rent. Um, so those are gonna be the interesting impacts that'll take place and um, and then we have the whole any northeast impact on SE southeast, and um, and it's really big. You're seeing a substantial motherload of people that just are over it. Uh, in New Jersey, we've got gotten a lot of calls. I've actually got um, we've got some actual properties set up to to show this weekend in Lighthouse Point. So as far as like you know bedrooms and baths, this is this is going to come up. Um, this has come up square footage increasing and, 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 and minimizing the, this, this situation, this catastrophe is going to create movement and team JK is ready to facilitate the move smoothly and, and that we will transition and with the best of intentions to, um, to, to, to make a smooth move for, for all in, involved, both buyers and sellers, landlords and tenants. Um, locations gonna come up, schools. This is gonna be interesting. And I, I haven't heard a lot about this, but you know we're getting a lot of people who are like, hey, listen, we're not gonna be in private school next year. So we need the best, we need the best public schools. That's gonna be interesting. Um, so views, you know, ocean views, intercoastal views, people are stuck at their homes and they've decided, hey, listen, if this happens again, I wanna at least walk out to the water or I wanna see the water or I wanna see a garden or I wanna see a preserve or I wanna see the golf course. And um, so all these different things that are tumultuously happening because people have never stayed in their homes ever in their lives as much as the past two months have created, you know, this this whole world of want and pent up demand. Once we break open here, we're already feeling it. Hey, Jonathan, I want to jump in for a second there. That that's really good points. All of those are, and I, you know, I'm interestingly working with uh, some clients from Boston and uh, Connecticut who are coming down for the same reasons. Um, let's translate that though into people that may be watching who own a home right now and maybe had considered putting it on the market, but you know, are, are, are trying to wait this out. We have a unique, interesting challenge here in, in South Florida. And I think we've all touched on it, but we haven't come right out and said it. And so the challenge is gonna be, we have a lot of people from the Northeast, we have people mm -hmm. from the Midwest, we have people from these non-Sunshine yeah. states that wanna be here. What, what are we lacking? We, we, we're still lacking. Supply. Uh, yeah. Supply. We need supply. Yeah. So, you know, what does that mean? And, 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 and if anybody takes market share there, Derek, if anybody yep. takes market 
Chair, it's Team JK. I, uh, along with you know, several of the agents on our team, have we focus on taking listings and yeah. and creating opportunities to be able to help a seller out on their way out because they have other intentions, obviously, in mind, whether they're moving up or moving down, along with bringing a buyer in and whether that's a move up or move down for them and facilitating that transaction appropriately. We have a history, 150 testimonial history of five-star ratings that have exposed the kind of service that we provide. And we can't make this up. And that's the most important thing. And I think that that's where the team leverages the collaboration is off the reputation. And, you know, it's just, it's just not right when we can't expose that. We have to expose that we're a five-star team um, with a substantial amount of public reinforcement on providing testimonials on, on the service that we provided. We worked extremely hard to make it happen. Thanks. We also, I, yeah, I want to throw in this, this other, uh, other point. We have some tools with Compass that makes that possible too. So if, if you're sitting, if you're out there and you're thinking about putting your house in the market and, and maybe that your thought is my house isn't ready. I, I need to do certain things because I, I think we'd all agree move in ready is the, is what people are looking oh, for yeah. right now. Right. I mean, oh, yeah. they want it, they want to get, they want to get their move in. So um, anybody want to, take a talk about concierge a little bit because I mean we've all used it our, our team is uniquely yeah, absolutely qualified it, it, to do it but. it's up to you Erica did you want to go there I'll go there it doesn't matter you can talk about it okay yeah concierge is perfect because what happens with concierge is the compass will come in and they will give you a certain percentage of what the value is on the property to be used towards bringing the property up to the, the highest maximum selling position the property will uh, will call for. So, you know, that's where, you know, our goal and the reason why we're at Compass, you know, there's a thousand brokerages out there and, and just our county alone. The main goal behind being at Compass is being able to have that product along with several other products that they provide to ensure that we're able to truly service the sellers specifically to get top dollar. We want at all cost, within reason to get that seller as much as we possibly can and not having a property showing the way it should will 100% impact the valuation of that property because that's the view that the buyer is seeing. If you're not in top dollar shape, the buyers won't be giving you top dollar. And so Compass and Concierge, the product for the program for Concierge will come in and we'll give you 5% of the purchase price to bring the property in to check. So we get you that, that ultimate dollar amount that you deserve for the property as a seller. And that's what's key behind Concierge. Thank you. At their, at so their cost, besides the amount that they gave and they just take it off the, um, the proceeds at the end. Right, Simple. no interest. Remember that. Yeah, no interest. No interest, so. no fees, no junk fees. No, if you take ten thousand dollars, if you're approved for ten thousand dollars through Compass Concierge, then in your house is five hundred thousand. Then now it's four ninety, and then whatever else the the uh, deductions are from there with closing costs and commissions. That's where you're at. It's ten grand. And it's clean. That was a really good explanation of Concierge. Thank you, Jonathan. So, bottom line, if you're uh, we, we, you're sitting out there watching us and you're thinking about it, you need to be calling us now because we have buyers. We already have some sellers. We're, we're, we have inventory. We're moving inventory. Erica, we've already talked to her a couple of times on this show. We know that, that that's a hardworking woman right there. Yeah. Just like everybody on the team. But Erica's working her tail off and exposing yeah. her inventory. She is all about it. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to throw out one more thing, I, I just because I think this is really huge to talk about. So uh, last week, I got to um, highlight the prop, one of my listings, and that property went under contract in four days. So wow. right, right after. So that I think that's pretty uh, oh, we important got to put out too. there. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Oh, we got birthdays, too. By the way, guys. You have birthdays. Derek, it is... 
<laughs> he goes out right at that moment. Wait, come back. Come right. back, come back. <laughs> and Jay calling in. I guess he wanted to make sure you didn't get the birthday shout out. So he pretty cut me out. <laughs> uh, but a big shout out to Derek, our producer of Team JK TV. And it's his birthday. So happy birthday, Derek. Happy birthday. I Thank personally, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I personally wanted to do a drive-by, and I tracked him down on Lauderdale <laughs> by the Sea Beach just because they're staying over there and uh, was able to spend a little time with him with mask on, and we did a little social distancing. Uh, happy birthday. It was a lot of um, – it was just nice. It was great to be with Derek, um, and this is special. We've got some other birthdays. Thank you. Juan Pablo Ficano. Christine Madsen. So Juan Pablo Ficano is a great impact door guy in case you guys need one. Christine Madsen, mad for you. Um, she does an excellent job with um, with advertising and media. So happy birthday, Christine. I think the last time I checked, she was getting a pedicure. Um, Leslie Fernandez Rosales. George Fernandez, YP. He was the uh, Young Professionals um, president over in Miami, the Miami Board of Realtors. Uh, Jessica. Jessica Burton, Erica Cantelli, uh, Brian Vermette, um, Olivia Greenwald. Hey, Olivia. And, um, and that's my birthdays for the for today. And, um, and guys, I got to tell you, you know, we've got um, between the gym. Oh, we have a guest. Oh, come on in. We have a guest. I, I can't help it. Come on in. Hurry. Hurry. Before the TV show's over. She made it just in time. Okay, hey, guys. <laughs> and we, yes. Hey, baby. Yep, yep, yep. Say hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, Team JK TV. Let's say hey, guys. Hey, thanks for viewing. Yes, that's Mr. Derek. All right, so, so Phoebe got to come live on TV. And and um, guys, we're having a good time. Just to, We're making the best of what we got. Um, Phoebe got to be able she was she was making her own little donut kit um, a couple days ago, I think. What's been your favorite part of – Quarantining, Pina. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's not good. I already said I don't know. <laughs> I like was the zip line the, you guys made. Was it zip line? What about the zip line? Why don't you invite some friends over for zip lining? That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See. All right. Well, I'll see you a little bit. It was okay. good to see you, Phoebe. All right, Derek. Thank. Anything else? Did you want to talk about? Do we? We talked about gems and we talked about beaches. Um, yeah, so we, we did talk about the beaches. I think we, we were talking about it before we went live stream. Um, the beaches, it doesn't look like are going to open up just yet. I don't, I, have we heard anything otherwise? I, I don't think so for Memorial Day, right? No. What, what are your Not thoughts on the Memorial. gyms, though? I, I don't, I, you know, let's, let's talk about this. Erica, you mentioned um, earlier before we went, we went live. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, the, the gym, the gyms, the, the nail well, salons, what, what are you thinking? Well, I need a haircut, I need my nails done, <laughs> feet, I need it all done. However, I'm going to take this opportunity to stay away from a lot of people, not only for myself, but for others, because I am in contact with so many sellers and buyers throughout the day. I feel like I'm getting enough exposure just by doing my work, and I don't want to add yeah. that by doing my personal <laughs> stuff, especially not going to nail salon, sitting so close to somebody else. Uh, that's just me, you know? Yeah. Uh, Ask me that in one week when my hair's a little longer, my nails a little more, you know, <laughs> thing up. Maybe my skin changes. I would love to go back to the gym, but I don't want to be in there yeah. uh, breathing and sweating and adding to what's already going on. So I am going to wait. Okay. And Mark, you, were, you were just traveling, weren't you? Yeah, I was just traveling. I mean, I got a haircut last night and it's all <laughs> separated. I'm up in Del Rey and it was fine. But I wouldn't want to go to an LA fitness right now. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, equipment and just. Well, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. Where even those businesses, in my opinion, take a risk of liability, um, and and not only because let's just say they're doing an amazing job of keeping things nice, tight, and clean. You oh. still have some public out there that don't feel like social distancing is necessary. And at any given time, that could be the point where somebody is is contracting um, the virus. So I could see where you know some of these businesses are questioning whether they should or shouldn't open, and that might be against you know some of my friends are really adamant about the gyms opening. 
Um, I, in my opinion, I think that we just had two months of being able to be outside and enjoy. I'm just as happy, you know, riding down to the beach and enjoying our bike rides. And, um, and I'm totally comfortable with that. And that's more than enough as this, this kind of plays out. That's my opinion. I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm, I'm in between all of you guys. I, I, you know, business still has to be done. I'm, I'm handling it um, according to the CDC guidelines, wearing the masks, wearing the gloves for showings, um, kind of keeping my distance. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be one of those people back to the gym, and I don't, <laughs> I don't care what my waistline or my age says about that. I don't care. I'm not going back right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you look be a minute. Yeah, that's what you guys, you guys see what I'm showing you. That's what, that's what it boils down to. Yeah, wait the <laughs> All, All right. right. So I got I a photo that, shoot to run out to. You got anything else, Jared? I think that's it. Um, I just want to throw in one more quick plug for Juan Pablo. I, I want to reiterate the happy birthday. Got to use him um, for a client out in um, Coral, Coral Springs, and he did a great job on a, a glass shower and closure. So oh, that's happy good. birthday, that's Juan good. Pablo. Yeah. Um, thank you guys. I thank everybody for uh, thank joining us. Thank you guys for highlighting those properties and for sharing your thoughts on the real estate market I, I right now. Smooth, I think our smoothest Team JK TV edition yet. <laughs> I think I, I think you might be right. Mark, you know what? No, we're, next time you're on, we're going to get you to... Uh, I'm going to find out what, what gets you excited. I, I'm going to do it. That's, that's the uh, next thing. <laughs> All right, I think that's it, guys. Tune in next Wednesday, 2 p.m. Bye. Thank you. Bye.